Hello and welcome back. This is Preeta Bhattacharya from Bentley Systems. In our last video, we saw how a beam can be designed in Stad Advanced Concrete Design. In this video, we will cover the design of a column. On the right side of the screen is the column layout and on the left side of the screen, we have four different tabs to show column geometry. From column reference tab, we can refer to the member number. In column size, we can change the size of the column and assign different shapes to the column like a circle, square, C, I, L, T, capsule, polygon or any custom section can be created. Here we have created columns with various shapes like circle, C, I, L, T, class, pentagon. To create a STAT file from STAT Advanced Concrete Design itself, we go through Update Analysis file. Now in Level Data, Level Wise Properties can be assigned to different columns. There is a Shift of CG tab for the difference in the center of gravity when there is a change in the size of the column. For Column Design, we have different design settings like the ductile design, live load reduction as per the number of levels supported by columns and slenderness effects for a second order analysis. There are different settings for wall design. The number of bars for different edges of columns can be set using the zone and rebar settings. We can set the load cases and assign the load types to each of the load cases. We have designed the columns. Now let's see the different changes in design we can make. To redesign the section in compliance with the codal provision and company standards, we can change the number of bars along both the directions and assign the bars to the column. We can also have different number of bundle bars if a large number of bars need to be accommodated in a column. Stad Advanced Concrete Design allows to change the arrangement of links which hold the main bar together when subject to buckling and shear effects. We can clear the link arrangement, have a master link, triangular link or a single legged link. We accept the changes here to redesign the section. We can see the interaction surface for each column for all load combinations ranging from P minimum to P maximum in 3D and 2D format. It is a graphical representation of combined loads that will cause the column to fail. We have the text schedule report here which can be saved in DXL. The detailed drawing of columns for all the levels can also be generated. In column elevation, the confining zone which is a region where small spacing of stirrups are required for higher ductility, the ductile link zone and non-ductile link zone is shown separately. We can check detailed design calculation here. The failure diagnostic report for the failed columns with member details are available. The total summary of BOQ is shown which also includes shuttering. Reinforcement type-wise BOQ shows the consumption of the main rebars and the links separately. The detailed BOQ as per reinforcement diameter is also available. The bar bending schedule of the column with the length of the bar is shown. The BBS table is generated with the bar shapes, bar numbers and the cutting length. That's all for now. In our next video, we will cover the wall design using Stad Advanced Concrete Design. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.